Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to create a calendar event inside Schoology. So I want to show you first, this is my aggregate feed. Here are all the updates for all the courses and groups that I am a member of. Keep in mind that I am a member of a lot of groups and a lot of courses, so your feed may not look like this at all. It may just have one or two items, just a few things. These are updates. Over here, because I'm enrolled as a student in some classes um, for testing purposes, I have my overdue assignments. It's really, really overdue. Um, and over here, I have my upcoming events. This is both calendar events, as indicated by that little calendar icon, and assignments, as indicated by the assignment icon. As the teacher or admin in most of these courses and groups, I still see the icon just as my students would see it. So if you can imagine from the student's perspective, in this box here, you'll see all the calendar and assignment icons as they come up, up to a certain range as, as much as will fit within this, within this little panel. So as promised for this video, I want to show you how to create a calendar event. I'm going to do so directly from the course where I want to place it. So I'm going to navigate to my test course. And I don't need to go to any particular panel because the calendar is ever present right here. This piece does not move and adding a calendar event can happen directly from here. When I add a calendar event here, it's only going to impact the course that I'm in. So I'm in this test course too. So the calendar event I add is going to be just for this test course. So it's only going to appear to members of this test course. And because there's a Friday the 13th on the calendar, I'm just going to make this the spooky Friday the 13th. Okay. And it's an all day event, so I don't need to add a start and end time, but I could by clicking that. And I can, you know, you can have a calendar event that lasts for several days, or you can have a calendar event that lasts for just a couple minutes by adding a start and end time. But I don't really need to do that here. I also want to point out to you that calendar events, just like assignments, just like updates, have the ability for you to add a file, for you to attach a link, and for you to include or insert an audio video recording. But I'm good with it just like this, so I'm going to hit Save Changes. Now I see in my calendar, after the personal introduction essay that's due on Thursday, I have my spooky Friday the 13th calendar reminder. And if I go back to my aggregate feed, the place that collects the information from all the courses and groups I'm enrolled in, I will see under Friday the 13th that I have added this new calendar date. So I hope this information is helpful.